Welcome. Today, we'll be going through question one from the International Maths Olympiad, 1972. Prove that from a set of 10 distinct two-digit numbers in the decimal system, it is possible to select two disjoint subsets whose members have the same sum. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. How many distinct subsets are there in total? For this, it might be easier to count the number of subsets of length one, of length two, of length three, all separately. The Pascal's triangle might also be useful. Hint number two. How many possible sums are there in total? What is the minimum possible sum? And what is the maximum possible sum? Hint number three. If there are two subsets, uh, not necessarily disjoint, with the same sum, how can you find two disjoint subsets with the same sum? What do you need to do to those subsets? Hint number four. Take the intersection from both subsets to get a disjoint pair of sets. Solution. So first we are going to count the number of distinct subsets. So we'll count the number of subsets of length 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way to 10 separately, and we get 10 0 plus 10 1 plus 10 2 all the way to plus 10 10. Now this is the 10th row of Pascal's triangle, and so the sum is 2 to the power of 10, which is 1024. However, we can't have a empty subset and we can't have a subset which is completely full with all 10 numbers because then the second subset will be empty. So the number of possible subsets is 1024 minus 2 because 10 0 and 10 10 are both 1, which is 1022. Now, the minimum sum of a subset is 10, when we have one number and the smallest number is 10, while the maximum sum is 91 plus 92 plus 93, all the way to plus 98 plus 99, which is less than 9 times 100, which is 900. Now, we know that this is the maximum sum because we took the nine largest numbers, and we couldn't take 10 because then the second subset will have to be empty. So the number of subsets is more than the number of sums because the number of subsets, possible subsets, is 1022, and the number of sums is less than 900. So by pigeonhole principle, we can find two different subsets, A and B, with the same sum. Now, these subsets, A and B, are not necessarily disjoint. However, we can create two new subsets, X and Y, which are disjoint. We take X as all the elements in A, apart from the intersection of A and B, and let Y be all the elements in B, apart from the intersection of A and B. So now X and Y have the same sum because A and B have the same sum and A intersection B is the same as A intersection B. And we know they're both disjoint because we have gotten rid of the intersection. However, we are not quite yet done. X could be empty if and only if. A is a subset of B, so all the elements in A are in B. However, then either A and B are the same, which we know they aren't because they're distinct, 
or the sum of b is greater than the sum of a, because b consists of all the elements in a and some more elements. But this will contradict the previous statement that a and b are distinct and that they have the same sum. Hence, none of x and y are empty. The same can be done to show that y is not empty. And so the proof is complete. And so you can always find two different disjoint subsets that have the same sum. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to drop a like and comment down below and see you next time.